You know, honestly, there are many kinds of mentors. Uh, what I write about in my book is skills-based mentoring. Uh, I have a whole chapter dedicated to a term that I've actually coined called project-based mentoring. Much like the Khalid story, uh, it fits into the wheelhouse of the mentor. Um, and I've written the, um, the prose, the text, to appeal to any field, scientist, STEM, math, finance, um, film. There's no reason anybody cannot mentor, particularly if you have your own expertise and you're passionate about it. Um, many mentoring programs are more emotional, whether it's um, kids of abuse or prison. This is not that. This is skills-based. So that broadens the market. Um, the first thing I would say about being a mentor, I would say two primary things. The first is you're not there to brag. You know, so much of our life as adults, we kind of want to tout why we're so good at things. Kids don't want to hear that. Kids want to hear your struggle. They want to hear your path and your difficulties and your perseverance and what got you through. Uh, that would be number one. Number two, um, Every single time I sit down with a student, uh, the first thing I say is, I'm not your parent, I'm not your teacher, I'm not your judge, I'm not grading you, uh, I'm not your minister or your priest, I am your consultant. I am here to help you with your idea. So I immediately give over the authority to them and I try to create an extremely safe space for any idea so that innovation can kind of flow. And it's strictly confidential. There's nothing they can't say that I will not respond to, play a honest devil's advocate back to them with. So I think it begins a dynamic that very much mimics the workplace. They begin to collaborate. They begin to have a new intergenerational form of a relationship that's almost equal, peer-like. It's not somebody talking down to them. Um, and you, you can have an honest dialogue. So I think all of those things begin to teach kids how to work.